everyone. Welcome back to MLTruth.com. Uh, I just want to thank you all for tuning in. Today is a really special day. Um, in case you haven't heard, about 2,000 years ago, there's this guy named Jesus who died on a cross um, and then rose three days later, and that's why we're celebrating this weekend. Um, and if it wasn't for that weekend, well then, you know, we wouldn't have apologetics. So thank you, Jesus, for dying on the cross for our sins and all that. Um, today, I want to focus on extra biblical sources. Extra biblical sources are sources that are outside of the Bible that go uh, that align with it in terms of history. So, for example, a lot of people say, "Oh, well, you know, Jesus never existed." Um, well, to them, I say, "Well, he did." We have the Bible that tells us he did, and the Bible is historically accurate. Um, and they say, "Well, there's no sources outside of the Bible that prove that." And what we're going to talk about today is one of those sources. Um, and just to get things started, I'm going to give you. The name of Josephus, who was a Jewish historian. He was also a Roman citizen who was born in Jerusalem. Um, he was born Titus Flavius Josephus. Um, he's a first century Jewish scholar and historian. Um, and he wrote Antiquities of the Jews, which recounts the history of the word um, of the world from a Jewish perspective um, for a Roman audience. Um, now, in 93 uh, to 94 AD, Josephus writes a book um, called Antiquities of the Jews. And in book 18 and 20 of that, he mentions someone by the name of Jesus Christ and references John the Baptist in 18 as well. Um, so right here we have mention of Jesus Christ and John the Baptist as historical figures in the Jewish um, world. Um, now, the references in book 18, chapter 3 have been accused of being altered, but there's a consensus on what is originally said. So... A lot of people say, oh, well, you know, they were tampered with, um, but most historians um, and respected scholars agree that they know what was originally authentically said about um, the references in Book 18, Chapter uh, 3. And then in Book 20, Chapter 9, um, James is mentioned as the brother of Christ, Jesus. Um, this is widely accepted, again, to be authentic among almost all scholars. Um, almost all modern scholars agree that the book, um, that book 18, chapter 5, uh, the record of John the Baptist is also to be um, authentic. Um, now, why is this important? Well, because if we didn't have this, then we would have not too many extra biblical sources that these people actually existed. But Josephus was a Jew. He wasn't a Christian. He was a Jew who was obviously probably opposed to Christianity. And for him to admit that John the Baptist was a person that Jesus Christ was a person, that James, who is the brother of Christ, was a person, and write this in his book, shows that the Bible is also historically accurate. So you have two sources that agree that these people existed. Um, now, uh, in book 18, I believe it's uh, John the Baptist's death and imprisonment that are mentioned, um, and they go almost exactly the way that the Gospels um, refer to the death and imprisonment of John the Baptist. Um, and then that leads to the last and probably most discussed passage in all of Josephus' writings. Um, and that's what has become uh, known as the Testimonium Flavium, um, which is basically the testimony of Josephus. Uh, and it's in Book 18, Chapter 3, the third passage. Um, it's the most discussed passage out of all of Josephus' writings. Um, and I'm sure you can understand why when it basically gives the account of Jesus' crucifixion, his death. Um, at the hands of Roman authorities. So this is the earliest existing manuscript that we have outside of the Bible um, of Jesus' death. And when you read it, I mean, he, uh, Josephus describes Jesus' death uh, basically the same way that um, the Bible described it. He went to Pilate, then he went to Herod, then he went back to Pilate. Um, the people wanted him to be crucified. You know, they were yelling for it. And eventually he would be crucified and um Basically, it just aligns so perfectly with the Bible. And for someone to say that Jesus never existed, that he never really died on a cross, whatever accusations they want to make, um, you know, the Bible is already enough for me in terms of a historical uh, context. Um, but when you want, if you if someone asks for extra biblical sources, then you could take them to the writings of Josephus because it's right there. There's several passages that say exactly what the Bible says. Um, 
Thank you everybody for tuning in uh, and watching this video. Keep an eye out. We have a bunch of other ones coming up later today um, and a lot of stuff coming up tomorrow and then on Resurrection Sunday. Thanks everybody for watching. See you soon.